Hello there. Last week we had record-breaking heat, high humidity and some thunderstorms too. As we move ahead through this week, things are much cooler. On Monday there will be some rain on the cards as well, particularly across some western parts of the country. Not all of us are going to see that rain. To start off the day, we've got the wet weather knocking on the doors of the Isles of Scilly, parts of Cornwall, up towards Pembrokeshire as well, working its way slowly eastwards through the remainder of the morning. But let's start off looking around the country at 8 in the morning. Then there is some rain across parts of Shetland, a few showers for Orkney. But for much of Scotland, it's a bright and a dry start to the day, 13 or 14 degrees, sunshine to start things off across Northern Ireland too. And as we move our way across Northern England down towards the Midlands, it's a bright start to the day, fresher than recent mornings. Sunshine extends into the southeast, but further west down towards Devon and Cornwall, the sky is clouding over, the cloud pushing into parts of Wales too, and that rain arriving in Pembrokeshire and Cornwall. Through the course of the morning, the rain edges its way northwards and eastwards, so some heavy showers at times for Northern Ireland into Wales and the southwest too. And later in the day, there'll be a few showers across parts of Northern England down towards the Midlands. Some of these bursts of rain will be heavy, particularly in the west, and on the hills, there could even be the odd rumble of thunder. Towards the southeast, things stay dry and temperatures in the low 20s and a lot of dry weather too across Scotland for much of the day. So the weather is set fair for Wimbledon during the course of Monday. I think any interruptions to play, pretty unlikely, 21, 22 degrees. But by Tuesday, more of a chance of some interruptions to play at Wimbledon. And in fact, many places will start to see some showery rain through Monday night and into Tuesday. This low pressure system works its way eastwards across the country. Here's the main band of rain pushing through the Midlands in towards the southeast through the early hours of Tuesday morning. Overnight temperatures down to around about 14 or 15 degrees. So this frontal system brings some heavy pulses of rain across parts of the southeast and East Anglia through the first part of the day. Behind that, it's a return to sunshine and showers across the country. And for some northern areas, these showers will be heavy and slow moving. That could cause some localised surface water flooding issues. And temperatures down a notch on last week but we could well still see around about 24 celsius down towards the southeast but through into the middle of the week what we're going to see is the weather turning a little bit cooler low pressure moves off towards the east and you can see the isobars stretching right up towards the arctic that's where the air is going to be coming from as we look through wednesday and into thursday so a dip in the temperatures right across the board there will be a few showers for northern and eastern areas in particular but equally still some sunshine to be enjoyed through the middle part of the week so to summarize the week ahead for you well it's cooler and breezier than we've seen recently sunshine and showers but things may well warm up for many of us again by the end of the week bye bye